Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to perform a number of matrix operations such as defining a matrix, multiplying two matrices, or adding or subtracting two matrices, and even how to calculate their eigenvalues, determinant, inverse, transports, etc. using Python. So in one of my previous tutorial, I already showed you guys how to, you know, install Python as well as the necessary libraries for scientific programming. So in this tutorial, um, we'll be using two of those libraries. So the first one would be NumPy. So what we are going to do is we are going to import it by typing import NumPy as NP. So what this will do is it will let us, you know, access the um, functions available in NumPy um, by referring them uh, using NP. And the next library we are going to need is the SciPy library. So we'll import that and rather we'll what we'll do is we'll only import the necessary part from that library so we'll write from scipy um, import linalg so linalg is the linear algebra module from scipy so we'll be importing that and what we can also do is we can import it as lg so that we don't have to type a lot sorry yeah so now we have imported scipy and numpy so the first thing we'll be doing is we'll be defining a matrix so let's call this matrix a sorry and we'll define it by using numpy arrays so the way to define numpy arrays is to write np dot array now make sure that you have also imported numpy as np if you're going to write np dot array or you can even like just write import numpy and then you can write numpy.array yeah so you get it right so and then you will have parentheses now the important thing is in order to define a matrix you cannot just use a single dimensional array a single dimension numpy array to be exact so you'll need to use two dimensional arrays therefore what you'll do is you'll write parentheses and then you'll write square brackets and then within those square brackets you will you know enter the elements of the matrix row wise so what that means Let's say the matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix with the first row uh, 1, 2 and the second row is 3, 4. So what we'll do is we'll write 1, 2 within square brackets and then we will write 3, 4 within square brackets as well. So here are the elements of the matrix. So you have np.array parentheses and square brackets and then within those square brackets you have the elements of the rows. Um, within square brackets and separated by commas so that is the first matrix that is a and then we can define matrix b as well similarly np dot array and then parentheses square brackets and then within those square brackets we can have the value of the uh, you know um, elements so we have like um, five comma one so now we have defined two matrices right so we have a matrix b and we have a matrix A. So the next thing we'll do is we will perform simple operations such as you know adding the matrices. So we'll write sum equals A plus B and then we can subtract them also. So we'll write difference equals um, A minus B simply. So that is pretty easy. And then we can multiply them as well. So we'll write product equals, um, sorry, yeah. And also I'm noticing that sum is kind of, uh, you know, um, weird out. So we'll write it sum one and then we have product equals. So probably sum is within defined within NumPy or something. I'm not really sure. So we'll have prod equals. Um, yeah, yeah, so this is interesting. In order to multiply the matrices, what you're going to do is you are going to use the command dot. So here's how it goes. So a dot dot and then within parentheses you will write the matrix with which you want to multiply the matrix with so that is how you perform a you know um, multiplication of matrices using the dot command so you have a and then you have a full stop or a period and then you write dot and then within parentheses you write b so that will multiply a with b and also make sure that the matrix a has the uh, same number of columns as the number of rows in matrix B for the product to be defined and then um, what we can do is we can also calculate the transpose of A and let's call it transpose and that would be equal to A dot T so that is how you will define I'm sorry 
so that is how you will you know define the transpose so that are some pretty simple operations and then you can also calculate the determinant of a square matrix so in our case we have already defined the matrices as you know square matrices so we can write determinant equals debt yeah and also now one more thing so this time we cannot just use debt like this because we have to use lg so debt is in fact a function within the scipy library so we'll use lg dot debt and then we'll write down the name of the matrix so determinant of b let's say we are evaluating and then we can also calculate the um let me see so yeah we can also calculate the inverse so we can do inverse equals um, lg which is uh, you know how we are referring to the linear algebra library in scipy and then lg dot inv and then b so that will help us evaluate the inverse of matrix b and then finally in order to get the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of you know um, matrices or square matrices to be precise you will do what you'll do is you will write down um, a matrix a and a matrix b and let me just uh, rather call them values and vectors that is more intuitive so we'll define two matrices which are equal to i which is also within lg so lg dot i and then within parentheses you will write the name of the matrix whose eigenvalues you are evaluating so what this will do is this i function will return two sets of arrays the first would be a single dimensional array which would contain the eigenvalues and the second uh, you know array which is called vectors would be a two dimensional array and its columns would be the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues within the first array so the ith eigenvalue corresponds to the ith column of the vectors matrix right so if that makes sense i hope it does so that is all that is how you can perform a number of matrix operations so now what we are going to do is we are going to run this program that we have written here i've named it or rather saved it as matrix operations.py so let's go ahead and run it by giving the command python 3 matrix operations.py and see what happens yeah nothing because so it's a good thing that nothing happened because that meant that we didn't you know face any errors but since it didn't print anything because my stupid ass forgot to give the print statement so we'll write print a to print the first matrix then we'll write print b to print the second matrix first of all to see if our matrix initializations were properly done so as you can see the first matrix is one two three four so each element or each square brackets is rather row wise and then the second matrix which is six one five one is also printed out then we can print out the remaining things such as print sum and then we can similarly print out like a difference then we can print out the let me see product then we will print out the transpose and then we will print out the determinant and then we can print out the inverse sorry yeah and then finally we'll print out the eigenvalues and then the eigenvectors so that is it now let's go ahead and run this program again after saving this code and then now you can see that here we have the matrix a we have the matrix b and then we have a problem such as like built-in function sum yeah that is what i was suspecting there when i was typing some so that is why i pretty much changed it oh yeah so in print statement i forgot to give someone i rather give some some okay so now it is correct and let's just go ahead and clear this and print it once again okay so we have the a matrix b matrix and then we have the sum matrix so as you can see 1 plus 6 7 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 5 8 and 4 plus 1 5 so the sum is also correct and then we have the difference so which is here so 1 minus 6 is minus 5 2 minus 1 is 1 and then 3 minus 5 is minus 2 4 minus 1 
is 3. So the difference is correct as well. And then we have the product. So the product matrix is this one. So it also seems correct to me. And then we have the transpose. So transpose of the, um, let me see which matrix, A. So the transpose of A matrix is 1, 3, 2, 4. So are we getting that? Yeah, we are getting 1, 3, 2, 4. And then we have the determinant of B matrix. And that is 1, as you can clearly see over here, 6 minus 5 equals 1. So due to some you know, numerical precision errors, are, you know, especially because of the floating point representations, it's not exactly 1, but it's approximately 1. So, and then what we have is we have the inverse, which is 1 minus 1 minus 5, 6. And I'm pretty sure it is correct. And then we have values, which is the eigenvalues of the matrix B. So these are the eigenvalues of the matrix B, that is 6.854 and 0 0.14589. And also you can see that these you know, eigenvalues are in complex notation, however, the imaginary part is zero, but it can also be the case that the, the eigenvalues are complex, therefore they are printed out in the complex notation, and then the eigenvectors corresponding to each of the eigenvalues is this. So the first column, that is 0 0.76 and 0 0.649, corresponds to the first eigenvalue, and the second column corresponds to the second eigenvalue. So that is pretty much it. That is how you perform a lot of matrix operations using Python and the SciPy and NumPy libraries. And also, a lot of operations you know, defined within the SciPy library and the linear algebra module are also accessible within the NumPy library, but I read somewhere that the SciPy module or the functions are more optimized and you know take the advantage of a lot of Fortran and uh, C++ code, therefore they should be uh, faster than using the NumPy um, functions for the same application. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. In case you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.